Hi guys, it's Peter and welcome to our channel. And in this video, I'm going to talk about my VESC XR, or I call Pro Wheel, because it really deserves to have own name. And Pro Wheel is really suitable for VESC, uh, because VESC is kind of, it has all built-in whistles, pretty much it's for Pro Rider. Even myself, I, I never consider my, myself as a Pro Rider. I do like riding. And uh, I switched my XR to VESC uh, probably a little over three months ago or so. And let me show you guys. Uh, let's see if the camera is going to pick it up. I'm approaching 800 mile. Right now it's a 792 mile. Uh, I mean, in a three month period, that, that's really nice. Especially in Alaska, we got pretty short summer. And not every day it's a nice day to ride it, but I do love it to, to ride my VESC. Anyway, uh, like I already mentioned, I got a package yesterday from Flow, Flow Life, and I pretty much all my upgrades I bought from them, from them and from Craft and Ride. I do like those guys. I always want to support them when I get opportunity, and this time is no exception. I got my Torx box and Torx bumper as well for this uh, dream machine project <laughs> and I'm glad I did uh, first time I ordered it from somebody else it did take like two three weeks or so and I never received a box then I when I contact them they are, it turns that they, they never ship it my my order pretty much I reordered it from flow life four or five days or so later it's here I really like the box the box looks really awesome I mean the box looks more than than it should be i mean the better than it should be it feels like it's a piece of art it's not really it's kind of shame to put it in a, a one wheel which no one's gonna see it it looks really nice i like it yeah uh, i mean the box itself i believe it's like 250 260 60 or 70 bucks another uh bumper pretty much the the package i mean the box and bumper it will cost you a little over 300 bucks but in my opinion it's well worth it uh why i did go with this box because i'm using i was gonna use it uh 21 700 cells and eight i mean i'm sorry 18 p2s you have to have a big box and this box will fit no problem even if it has another five millimeter room uh, I mean, it's really, it's really suitable. It's really made for, for that uh, extra size cells. I mean, 18650s, it's, it's, it's nothing wrong. Well, you're not can get in that high amperage discharge rate as those guys. Yeah, like I said, I'm a heavy guy. I need more amperage as possible. Like I said, the box is, the box itself is awesome. No complaints. Uh, the bumper itself, I like it. The bumper, how it looks. I hope that's gonna be really strong plastic. Uh, one thing I kind of a little bit disappointed, the thickness over here where the bumper, I mean, where the bottom part is, because they kind of ground it down to accomplish that uh, four or five millimeters, uh, the, I mean, the deeper box. And the bumper actually is quite flexible. I mean, it's, it's not as thick as material as the original one, plus, uh, let's see. Oh, here I got a GT bumper. It has those uh, ribs and the bumper itself. It unbelievable. I mean, you not can you not can bend it. This guy, you can bend it quite easy. And especially in my case, because I'm a heavy guy, I do like a quick stop. And if I, I mean, when when I'm gonna finish with my board, pretty much if if I do a quick stop, especially on some rock or so. It may, it may squeeze it so hard, it may damage the uh, battery. Well, the battery box itself is supposed to be strong material, it's acrylic, not a plastic glass. It even looks like a plastic glass, but it's not a plastic glass. But if if I hit something hard, it may squeeze it to, to the point where it can damage the cells. I hope it, ne it never is going to happen. Pretty much my box, like I said, it showed up yesterday. I'm about to ready to build the pack, uh, battery which I got already for almost a month. I was waiting for that box for a long, long time. All batteries, I did cycle it. It's supposed to be 4200 uh, milliamp. All cells been cycled and they are pretty close. 
Uh, some people probably gonna ask me why you cycled brand new battery. The thing is, uh, when you buying a uh, bunch of batteries cells from from same vendor, uh, it may be even from same batch, but you never know uh, that there may be one defective one or so. And uh, cycling, I call cycling, charging and discharging at low amp amperage. Uh, that's probably the best way to see how good cells they are, especially it will be really shame if you build it a pack and you find that there's a one week cell or so. Pretty much my cells is done. Then also I did pick it up a uh, box Pelican uh, 1060. That, this box is going to be for a uh, range booster because like on my cooling vest I do have a smaller range booster uh, 15 1p uh, 18650s and i really like it idea to have a range booster and for this project probably i was gonna use the 1060 and use it uh, 21700 or maybe i was gonna find a smaller uh, i believe it's a 1040 or so it's a smaller box and 650 uh, 6 i mean 18650 will fit uh, 18 cells, uh, one P will fit. I got already a BMS. Uh, it's a daily 18 S, 16 volts BMS. It, it's a dumb BMS, charge only. Will which uh, for this box with uh, um, 18 cells, it will it will work no problem. If I decided to go with smaller box with smaller cells, 18 650s. Uh, this this BMS, I'm pretty sure it will work no problem. Also, I ordered another BMS. Uh, I forgot what the brand is. Also, it's a, it's a dumb BMS uh, for my uh, rear box, and I hope it's gonna show up in the next week or two, and uh, I will keep working on my project. I mean, so far, like I said, approaching 800 mile on my uh, VESC. I really love it. I really love it. And I'm glad I did switch it from Future Motion to a VESC. I mean, for me, it's more convenient. I know the VESC is not for everybody. Every, uh, pretty much in all my videos, I tried mentioning the VESC is not for everybody. And I'm not saying you should re it your uh, Future Motion wheel and get a VESC or build it a VESC. If you know what you're doing, it's a one thing. If you don't know what you're doing, you then you probably better stick with uh, GT or XR or whatever board you uh, you have the one that that board which make you happy you better stick it. In my case, it's different because the fusion motion treat me like dirt, and I've warranty repair with my GT and my GT never been uh, repaired under warranty. Well, guys, uh, pretty much that's all I got for this video. I hope it was interesting, enjoyable. If you guys did enjoy, it, thumbs up. If you don't want to miss any future video, subscribe. We will really appreciate. Thank you.